Hi friends, welcome back to React.js Zero to Hero series. This series is for beginners who wants to learn React.js from scratch. In the last video, I have explained about how we can render images in React and how we can apply styles to React components. In this video, I am going to explain how we can render list in React. Let's start. I have created a new React application in which I have created this component and I am using that in the app component. And so we can see this. Okay, let me create a numbers array, which is having some numbers. I wanted to create an unordered list using this array. For that, I can make use of any loops in JavaScript. We have different kind of loops available in JavaScript to loop through an array. For example, we have far off loop, we have for each loop, we have map and many more. In React, we mostly prefer to use map. I will explain the reason for that shortly. Now let me show you how we can use far off loop first. First let's create a variable to hold our JSX elements. Then we can use a far off loop like this and push our JSX element to that variable. And finally here we can render that variable. And so we can see this list is getting rendered. Similarly, we know using for each we can loop through an array. So we can use a for each to push our JSX element into this variable. And we can render that. This will also work. Similar to for each, we can use map to loop through an array. But the main difference between map and for each is that the map method returns a new array by applying the callback function on each element of an array while the for each method doesn't return anything. And so here we can simply assign this to this variable and render that. I told we mostly prefer to use map. The reason is instead of creating a separate variable and pushing each element inside this variable and render that, we can directly use map to create our list on the fly like this. And so map is preferred over other loops in React. Okay, we have created our list and we can see it is working as expected. But if I inspect, we can see there is a warning. Each child in a list should have a unique key prop. This is because keys help React to identify which items have changed, added or removed. The best way to pick a key is to use a string that uniquely identifies a list item among its siblings. Mostly when we get data from a database, a unique ID will be there and so we can make use of that. Even here we can see all the numbers are unique. And so we can use this item as unique key. To add a key, we need to use the key property. Let me add a key to this li element. Now if I refresh, we can see the error is gone. Okay, now assume that our numbers are not unique now. In this case, we get a different warning. Encountered two children with the same key. So in this situation, there is no point in using the same number as key. Here we can go for index like this. Index is always going to be unique. So you may ask why can't we use index always? Why do we need to look for an unique identifier from data? The reason is React does not recommend using indexes for keys if the order of items may change. This can negatively impact performance and may cause issues with component state. So we have to use indexes as keys only if we don't have any other unique IDs to use as keys. And in normal HTML, when we use ID, that ID should be unique throughout the entire DOM. But here in React, keys used within arrays should be unique only among their siblings. That means if we copy this and paste again, this will work. Okay, let me copy the components we have used in the previous application and let me configure that in the app component. And so we can see this. Here as of now, we are repeating this student component. Assume we are getting this data from database.
and we are going to transform this array to create a list of student components. So let me command this and let me use map. And so here for each student, I can render the student component. To this student component, I can pass the respective props. Like this. And so we can see our component is working. This time we are not repeating the code. But if I inspect, we can see the unique key error. We can solve that by passing a key. Here we can use the ID as key. So the error is gone. Okay, one more thing I want to show here. Here we can see we are passing all these to the student component. And in student component, we are getting all these. Let me try to get the key. And let me print both the key and first name. Now we can see a warning. Student key is not a prop and the key is coming as undefined. That is because keys serve as a hint to react but they don't get passed into the components. In case we need this ID to be accessed inside our component, we need to pass it as a different prop. Now we can access this ID. Hope you understood on how to render a list and how to use a key. Okay, let me suggest a task. You can use the same data, but this time show it in a table like this. You can use few text boxes to get the name, age and country of a student and a button to add the data. Once the add button is clicked, that data should be added to the table. And for each row, there should be a button to delete that data. You don't want to focus on validations now that we are going to see as part of form handling. For this task, you just want to focus on how to add into the list and how to remove from a list. And one thing to note here is, while I was explaining about list, I didn't keep the array in a state because I don't have a need to keep it in a state. But for this task, as you want to change the UI when a student is added or removed, you need to keep the student's array in a state. Try this if you need the solution code you can get it from this github repo. The link is available in the description. That's all for today. Please like this video, subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you. Bye.